This is 90.3 KEXP Seattle, 91.5 Radio New York, and worldwide at KEXP.org. We're here on a morning session with our good friend Brian Fallon here of uh, just a great band, the Gaslight Anthem. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and uh, not the full band today. No, just me. You're doing extra extra duty. Lonesome. Yeah, and you're going to do... a little different versions of the songs that we yeah. have on the record. The new record is called The 59 Sound. I love it. It's going to be out on Tuesday. And uh, what are you going to start with? I'm going to start with the title track, The 59 Sound. Excellent. So here we go. This is The 59 Sound. Well, I wonder... Which song they gonna play when we go? I hope it's something quiet and minor and peaceful and slow. And as we float out into the ether, into the everlasting arms, I hope we don't hear Marley's chains we forged in life. Cause these chains I've been hearing now for most of my life And these chains I've been hearing now for most of my life To hear the 59 sound coming through on Grandmama's radio Did you hear the rattling chains in the hospital walls? Or did you hear in the old gospel choir When they came to carry you over? And did you hear your favorite song? One last time And I wonder Were you scared When the metal hit the glass Well I was playing a show down the road And the spirit left your body And they told me when I was on the front lawn And I'm sorry that I couldn't go But I still know the song and the words and her name and every reason Man, I know cause we were kids and we used to hang And I know cause we were kids and we used to hang To hear the 59 sound coming through on Grandmama's radio Did you hear the rattling chains in the hospital walls? Did you hear the old gospel choir? When they came to carry you over Did you hear your favorite song One last time Young boys Young girls Young boys Young girls Well you ain't supposed to die on a Saturday night Ain't supposed to die on a Saturday night Ain't supposed to die on a Saturday night You ain't supposed to leave my life Do you hear the 59 sound Coming through on Grandmama's radio Did you hear those rattling chains In the hospital walls Did you hear the old gospel choir When they came to carry your body over you hear your favorite song one last time you hear the old gospel choir when they came to carry you over Did you hear your favorite song one last time young boys young girls Thanks. That's beautiful. Ah, love that version. Yeah, it's a little uh, different, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, and that song jumped out when I got the record, too. That one, I, how it ends, just the build-up. Yeah. Uh, man, good stuff. So you got another one from it? Yeah, yeah. I got uh, got one of the, the middle tracks. Uh, I think we're going to give uh, Miles Davis a shot and a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he doesn't mind. So this is uh, Miles Davis and the Cool. I 
I've been swayed by the cool There's something about the summertime And there's just something about the moon So I lay a kiss on the stone Toss it upside your window And by the roof Before you change your mind Miles bring in the cool Brian Fallon of the Thank Gaslight you. Anthem here on the morning show. And it's when you do a session like this, we talked a little bit about it before we get on the air, uh, a more stripped down. Yeah, version. yeah. Uh, he's wearing clothes. I mean, stripped down acoustic. Yeah, version. I got a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, it, you hear the lyrics even more. You, yeah. you can actually hear, uh, and your lyrics are such an important part of this record too. Thanks. They're just, uh, just for lack of a better word, just very real. Thank you. And I'm sure you've heard that. You must have heard that, and, and it must surprise you because you probably don't know any other way to write songs, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't really think too much about how they sound i mean like it's just i'm just saying what i know to right. say you know and and do you find like and on this record uh, uh too is it is it your life experiences that you're writing about is it what you're seeing yeah especially this one especially this one yeah this was like a i mean i'm in a weird time in my life where 
everybody's kind of abandoning their adolescence and developing into adults and right you know those terms are being needed to be defined and and buried in some cases buried so in a lot of cases in a lot I of think, cases yeah. you can't carry i think there's like a threshold between adulthood and adolescence and there's a lot of things that i'm finding out as i go you can't carry and you have to bury and it's for you is, is is writing a song is that how you carry a little bit on and sometimes yeah, yeah yeah it must be interesting to know that you you can look back years from now and see yeah. you know because <laughs> a lot of people document their life from other people's music you know yeah. a long-running band like anyone from an rem to a u2 or whatever you're like oh, i remember when that record came yeah. out, that's where i was but i imagine for an artist when you look back you've got to be like wow that's where that's i was that's where you, we were yeah. do you see yourself from the other record and now do you see the, yeah. the growth major difference i mean yeah. i don't know to say better or worse i can just say that they're different different snapshots you know a lot of people ask us a lot to compare our records and they're like well how do you think this one sounds to the yeah. first one and i say you know you can't compare your kids you know so <laughs> it's like you don't yeah, just that was the first one, and this is the second one. They're right. different. Yeah, the first one you're a little more you're a little more careful, cautious. Yeah, not really sure what you're doing. The no. second one, a little more comfortable. I th- I would hope so. Yeah, I'm only having one child, so I don't know. All I'm right. glad you went to the second one. Fair That's enough. Good. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to the second one. Yeah, mine uh, costs less. And man, I, I you know usually I don't throw out who a band's compared to, but uh, you know just looking into the band a little bit, it seems like people want to throw out some pretty big names like a Bruce Springsteen, yeah. other names, and I think in that case. I don't think I would mind. Like, I don't if that's mind. who you're going to compare me to. Exactly. And I think that's the realness of it. It's cool. Yeah, that's got to feel good. I mean, it's better that, you know, that people are, are getting it right, too. You know, because we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Like, we know we didn't, you know, we didn't invent this style. We're yeah. just kind of trying to write the next chapter in the in the book. So hopefully, you know, I don't even want to say carry the torch because it hasn't been passed properly yet. But, right. you know, Hopefully that's what we're doing. Oh, you got, you got a great perspective on it, so it's it's fantastic. And you have a, a you got a lot of shows coming up. You have sold out your New York show, which is happening. <laughs> you got to feel good about that. That's, that feels really good. That's Saturday, the Knitting Factory. Yeah. Pretty psyched about that. Yeah, we played the Knitting. That's kind of we grew at the Knitting Factory, so yeah. it was really cool to to be down there. And, and now now we're selling it out. All right. Like, when was cool. when was the first time you played there? Uh, we played there the first time actually was when the band first started we played the tap bar acoustic oh, and uh, yeah. so that was pretty funny and then we played in october uh, with the draft and dead to me and that was the first real time where we opened up and then in february we played uh main support for the loved ones and then now it's uh it's august and we're we're wow. headlining well that's cool so the club was a, a someone who believed in you yeah. obviously there was yeah, a particular they, person or a particular yeah they take pretty good care of us the uh the, it's it's just been great that's great know, so. and then you are heading out in your first show am i right in the uk is yeah. it reading yeah. <laughs> yeah let's start small show yeah, no big deal small, no big deal Ten thousand people no big, sixty thousand people <laughs> Dude. no big deal the feel? killers i feel good about it yeah i'm but i mean at the same time every everything that we do is like well, this is this is really great. Let's just enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Let's take everything we can out of it, and you know, because it might be gone. That's well, it's a good way to look at it. It's very, yeah. it's very refreshing. Uh, <laughs> the Gaslight Anthem album, not even out yet. Not even out. All this good stuff happening hasn't yeah. even come out yet, uh, and it's out on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You got to be pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. And um, you're going to do a couple more songs from the record. Yeah. Excellent. What do you got for us? Uh, this next one is uh, this is the first song called Great Expectations. All right. And uh, this was written as an introduction to the record. This was the, this is where I'm at right now, and let's tell you some stories. So, with always with great expectations. Mary, this station is playing every sad song I remember like we were alive. But I heard and sung them all from inside of these walls in a prison cell where we spent those nights. You hear they burned up the diner Where I always used to find her Licking young boy's blood from her claws And I learned about the blues From this kitten I knew Her hair was raven And her heart was like a tomb Left my heart like a wound And I saw taillights last night In a dream about my first wife I saw the taillights last night In a dream about my first wife And everybody leaves So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And Mary, I just worried and stalled 
Every night of my life Better safe than making any of those parties And I never had a good time I sat by my bedside With these papers Poetry about Estella Great expectations We had the greatest expectations But I saw the sail lights last night In a dream about my first wife Everybody leaves Well I guess I just expected as much from you I saw the sail lights last night In this crazy dream about my old life well, everybody leaves So why wouldn't you? You know, it's funny how the night moves Humming a song from 1962 It's so funny how the night moves Some, some, summertime we were always waiting Always standing here waiting Me and you, Mary, we were always Waiting for something, something to happen Till I saw taillights last night In a dream about my first wife Everybody leaves and I'd expect as much from you I saw taillights last night In a dream about this old life Everybody leaves So why wouldn't you Thank you. Tail lights, such a, such a powerful image. <clears throat> I've it's heard it in songs going. before. It yeah. hit me that time too when you were singing it. Thanks. Such a powerful image to see the car pulling off. And that was, uh, yeah, that was kind of the uh, everything kind of pulling off. Yeah. When we read that, that was like, oh well, because the band was changing at the same time as my adolescence was changing, my whole life was changing. Yeah. And it was like you have this sense of uh, being on tour all the time, like a permanent vacation, but it's not. It's not that, and it's that you have to be responsible and sober about it, that you are becoming an adult, and you can't just be a fool running around, you know, just being like, look at me, I'm on vacation. You have a responsibility to the people that come see you and the people that buy your records and to, you know, to do your job and to do it as best as you can. And it was weird, like, the everything was changing, you know. I was growing up, and then the band, and the, where, where do I fit in? I don't know. Wow. And yeah. it just seemed like everything was pulling away. You throw kids into that situation. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts that any of them make it through. It is. And it is crazy. I mean, I definitely understand why people kind of, you could see like there's famous people that have kind of apparently gone off the deep end. And yeah. uh, I, mean, I could see how that happens. Absolutely. Well, it seems like you got perspective before. Uh, I hope so. Before any of that could happen, I <laughs> hope. Uh, Brian Fallon here from the Gaslight Anthem. The new album is called The 59 Sound, one of my favorite records so far this year. It's so good. Uh, and it's not even out yet. It's out on Tuesday. Highly recommend it. They have a sold out show at Knitting Factory. And um, that's on Saturday. And are you making your way to Seattle anytime in 08? We're going to be there at the end of the year. The end of the year touring with, forever. With Rise Against, yeah. yeah. When is, so that's end of, end of the year? End of the year, probably uh, November time, okay. I would say. Yeah. And Seattle's actually one of my favorite cities. That's, that's a beautiful city. I love it. And you'll be well received. It's, it's great. The last time I was there, though, I was kind of asking everybody where Eddie Vedder lived because I'm, <laughs> I'm an enormous Pearl Jam fan. And West I know. Seattle. I know that's what everybody Go says, but Seattle. where? <laughs> I mean, I think he would. I don't think he would mind if I brought him a coffee and was like, "Listen, man, let's talk about I the know Ramones." Some people. Well, <laughs> Dude, he is like a hero. You know, I mean, he doesn't get far enough credit, even the good credit he does get. Well, I think when you, I think that into the wild soundtrack. If, oh. that, if that didn't <laughs> show people that the he's such a talented songwriter yeah. and storyteller, and he gets it, I think yeah. he really gets it beyond. I think what most people do, he yeah. sees it. You know. And talk about what you just said about being thrown into the into yeah. that, and that guy went through and to the other Everything. side, yep. and uh, complete with a, a great family and such grace too. Yeah, look at that. Never was a fool, you know. Never he went up and down and then back up again. Isn't it interesting though? You almost get less credit as a musician if that doesn't ha- if if you yeah. do go that route. Yeah. That's kind of a sad commentary in a way. Oh, yeah, but good for him. You know? Yeah, it's really good a for all those thing. guys. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so when you get to Seattle, we'll, we'll go knock on his door. I would love to, really. <laughs> I mean, I hope he comes to one of our shows. I'd I buy him a pizza or something. 
<laughs> How can he say no to that? Yeah. How could he say no, no to that? Seriously, mm. I bet you. I, I bet you no one's asked that. Come to our show. I'll buy you pizza. I'll buy you pizza, and we could talk about the Who, man. <laughs> that "Rain on Me" cover that they did is yeah, oh phenomenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet Are, you he's nice too. Uh, I've heard. I've heard. Yes, maybe he's in. A, everybody gets in a bad mood. I'm sticking with it. Eddie Vedder's no, a solid. But guy. the thing is, is even if you weren't, I mean, imagine what you go through in a day. Yeah, you know, where you can't even go to the store. It's true. You know, you're it's gonna get yeah, just just swamp with people, especially in your yeah. hometown. Although people are awfully nice in Seattle. All right, you got one more song from the record, the Fifty Nine Sound. All right, this Which song's uh, this song's called Backseat. Cool. The Backseat, it's called. And uh, here we go. In the backseats of burned out cars. In the disenchantment lane, these ideal angels twist and turn and ask forgiveness for future mistakes. But you and I, we've been through this maybe a hundred times before. We're always hitching rides with strangers Papa warned us about before. You know the summer always brought Wild and reckless breeze And in the back seats We just tried to find Some room for our knees And in the wild desert sun We drove straight on through the night We rode the fever out of Austin and Dreamed of California lights Come July we'll ride this Ferris wheel Go round and round and round And if you never let me go I will never let you down And you know the summer always brought in That wild and reckless breeze And in the back seats we just tried to find Some room for our needs and in the back seats, we just try to find some room to breathe. And now in the back seats, we just try to find some room to breathe. And these cowboys all go crazy in the heat. Chasing the lights and all the girls along the Santa Ana streets that just die in me You know they meant nothing to me It meant nothing to me You know the summer always brought in those wild and reckless breeze and in the back seats we just tried to find some room for our knees You know the summer always brought in that wild and reckless breeze And in the back seat we just tried to find some room for our knees Brian Fallon of the Thank Gaslight you. Anthem here on the morning show. Thank you again for Thank coming you up, for taking having the time. Me. Of course. Have fun on yeah. Saturday. That is going to be good, <laughs> good times. time. Yeah. I'm excited about that one. Yeah. And then off to a, a small little festival called the Reading Festival. I heard about it. A couple of local. Yeah. But local bars, I think. They take yeah. chances on small bands. I heard they do, yeah, like the Killers. Yeah, like the Killers, <laughs> exactly. And then uh, a lot of touring, and uh, it sounds like you're prepared for the road this yeah. time around, too. Yeah, 
All Road right. tested, mother approved. Good, good. Well, That's good us. luck, Brian. <laughs> Thank you very much. You don't much. need it, but but good luck anyway. And uh, I highly recommend the new record, too. The Gaslight Anthem, the 59 sound out on Tuesday. Thank this you. is 90.3 KEXP Seattle, 91.5 Radio New York, and worldwide at kexp.org.